Hey everybody and brightest blessings. Lady Leanna here with another edition of Wicca for Today and it's great to be back here and welcoming you to the channel once more. Um, today I am not actually going to do a video on Witchcraft Wicca. I had just released one about two days ago about being superstitious or creating bad energy for yourself and believing the negative. And so that should tide you over for a day or two. Today I wanted to do an update on a video I made just prior to that regarding a potential health crisis that I could be facing. And, uh, you know, it was regarding a surgery that I had just had to have a mass removed. And it was being biopsied to find out if it was actually cancerous. Well, I had said that it was potentially precancerous by what the doctor had looked at and told me. Well, we found out that it is actually in the cancer stage. It is actual cancer. And so now I'm on for a fight, a, a fight against cancer. That don't sound right to me. I mean, you know, I've always been strong, invincible, you know, and... So now I have cancer and I am in for a battle. Well, my father died from cancer. My Aunt Sandra died from cancer. My Mimo died from cancer. My grandfather died from cancer. Um, several people in my family had been diagnosed and had won over it, but then it did a relapse and it took her life. and another person in my family is a fighter and winner so far over cancer. So I know what it can do and so it's a bit scary to me. It really is. I uh, never expected this should happen to me. I actually smoked for 33 years and quit four years ago to prevent myself from getting lung cancer only to end up getting a kind of rectal cancer. Actually, it is a skin cancer, but uh, can go inward, I guess. And it was right on my, my bum. <laughs> so rectal cancer. Anyway, uh, so I am in for a fight and they have told me that I am going to have to go under approximately five weeks, give or take of radiation therapy, I guess chemotherapy is another word for it. And um, they say it's not the extensive radiation therapy that a lot of people face, that it doesn't have the bitterness, um, not so much the bitterness, I guess, that those that undergo the heaviest chemotherapy go through. But it is scary to me. I am probably, and, and it's funny, you know, because I find myself probably, well, though I am scared, I really am because I've seen many people die from this in my family, people I love. But you know, the funniest thing is, is I'm probably more concerned about how I'm going to do it, the cost of it, than I am about the actual cancer itself. I have ever bit of faith in myself to win over such a thing, you know. I, I am scared of it because I know people get, you know, this radiation, it fries you. That's, that's what it does. It, it cooks you to a, de a degree. It's, it's to be afraid of, right? And I'm still trying to recuperate from the surgery I had. I'm just now able to sit in the upright position and still it sometimes burns, burns me bum <laughs> uh, to sit in the upright position. After I've been sitting up for a while, you know, it can still hurt. So, you know, I'm still trying to recuperate from the surgery after three weeks, believe it or not. Anyway, I believe that I am going to survive this. I mean, I have every bit of faith in that. Um, and I am scared of it, but more about what I'm fixing to go through. It's going to be a, a, a battle, you know. 
Um, but, you know, I think the, the thing that scares me more is, you know, how to get through this, you know, I guess in all other sense of the word, over just health, you know. Remember, the government pulls from us everything we freaking make in this world. And, you know, it's not like I make a lot anyway, you know. Um, so, I've got a lot to figure out. As a matter of fact, I really have to still go to my regular doctor and get the referral to go to an oncologist. Don't know which oncologist I'm going to go to, where he's going to refer me. I'm going to try to get a place that's like 30 to 40 minutes away from me. Uh, you know, so that it's not so hard for my husband Austin to get me there and back because he's already having to try to arrange his schedule at work and they look like they're going to to work with him on that. You know, he works at Walmart and God, he hates that job but, and it don't pay near enough of anything. But, so this is going to be very, very hard. I'm not going to be able to work a lot of the times and do my readings. Luckily, it is readings I do. And I am just starting to do these tarot card readings online for people around the world and branching out from just doing walk-ins that I've been doing for years, you know, for the years that I've been doing it over, I guess, 25 years publicly, but only for people that would walk into my shop or call and make appointments, not ever really by computer or phone because I, I never liked the idea or concept but I'm having to branch out from that. I always liked the closeness of being at one with my clients and reading for them face to face, you know. But I'm having to change those ideas, you know, and hopefully I can get, you know, some good clientele, you know, over the phone via Skype or whatever you know, or Google Hangouts. I haven't yet figured out how to work that. I am not a technological savvy person to tell you the truth, but I've got a lot to learn. Anyway, so, you know, I'm doing good. I, I feel better now that the mass is moving. I can actually walk. I'm not, I'm not in pain all the time, except for where the surgery was you know, at, and, and that's still a little sore, but it doesn't even hurt now what it did whenever I still had the mask. It was pretty bad already, you know, but I'm doing good. I'm getting around, I'm cleaning my house, and, you know, it's not like I am suffering cancer right now, you know. It's, it's not like that. It's going about my daily life. You know, I have notice that my energy levels aren't really great and haven't been for about the past year. Thought it was me being lazy and, you know, but it was kind of beyond that because I could do things and I really ain't lazy, you know, whenever you think about everything because I stay busy. I work like three or four different types of work, you know, three different channels that I run videos on. I uh, do my tarot card readings here. I'm a housewife. Uh, I do spell works for people that come in in my free time, if, if you could say that I have any free time. So I'm not lazy. It's just that I'm in a 12 by 24 building and there's not a lot of walking room anyway. So I attributed a lot of my sluggishness and slowness to, to being that, and I, I still kind of feel that that's what it is. I don't feel that I'm advanced enough in a cancer stage to where it should be wreaking any kind of havoc, you know, and I still feel that way. But um, I am going to do this. I am going to be just fine, and I'm probably going to keep my beautiful, fabulous, good looks so that I can face you guys and not have to feel all shy and ashamed, you know. But, uh, yes, they call this uh, carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma. 
and it started out in the outer portion of the body and working its way in and I will be doing five weeks or so of of radiation treatment to get rid of it and I have every bit of faith that I will be just fine and it may be exactly why I packed on this weight that I did over the past two years is because my body knew that it was going to need it or maybe subconsciously I knew it because well you know I've been getting these age spots on my hands and I've worried about them and all the doctors would say that's just normal crap and that you get it genetically but I felt like there was something I kept feeling like there was something you know and um, well I was right I just really I guess didn't want to believe it and so wouldn't give it a great amount of consideration or too much thought I like to move beyond any negative thoughts for that matter and that's what we as Wicca and, and pagans in general do we try to look at things in the very light positive way and uh, you know generally we try to live healthy anyway I won't say that my habits have been too good lately but I am going to go back to my Japanese cooking I have no choice because vegetation rice things of that nature is going to be a lot better for me at this point in time and uh, a friend of mine from the channel here says that I should check into uh, cannabis oils for uh, trying to heal myself says that this is becoming very broadly known for being a great healer and I've got to check into it I know that it is illegal in my state uh, and I don't know how I feel about it because you know I've tried smoking marijuana a time or two in the past okay probably a few more times than a time or two and it just made me tired and droopy and uh, so I wasn't able to 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 do that very much I just wanted to sleep and if anybody bothered me I would bite their heads off just leave me the hell alone so I don't know that I could go this route but you know uh, they do say that it, it it is a miracle herb for healing a great many things including the possibility of it healing my COPD or at least uh, you know making it a lot better so I don't know I need to check into all of that and try to decide how I feel about it on a level if, if it wouldn't make me feel sick all the time or or overly tired or sleepy or whatever and then if I could get a legal permit for medicinal you know stuff so I mean I don't know but I do know that there are a lot of other things that I can do that are very positive including seaweed blood cleansers such as garlic and cinnamon and and ginger and a lot of lemon you know thank you for for uh, validating what I was saying Lexi I appreciate that uh, Lexi is a very good subscriber and a great person a beautiful hearted person for sure I love Lexi to death she's always talking to me on the channel here um, all of you guys I really love all of you guys to death you've been great uh, such such a, um, a contribution to the channel with the things that you talk about Dana uh, Z Pagan Emma you guys have just really been great and I love talking to you I love visiting you with you whenever I get to talk to you on the channel you know and I do try my best to talk to everybody that addresses me on there um, but anyway I'm gonna cut this video short just wanted to give you an update on my health I'm taking it very positive 
I know that people win in these things and I know there are herbs that could help me and I will be going through checking all of that thoroughly and and doing my very best studying my Japanese still studying my Spanish still at times yes I am studying Japanese and I am studying Spanish sometimes slowly and I am um, uh, still doing my readings and I intend to as long as I can and throughout my my radiation treatment so you know let me know through my website www.mysticshadowinsights.com um, I have all the service buttons there that you can click on to get my readings done on I think the second page anyway it's the services page so look for that one if you want to get a reading done and it's a drop down menu and it takes you to PayPal and PayPal uh, accepts any kind of credit cards or whatever so if you want to get a reading from me that could be uh, helpful through my process you know also I'm asking anybody that's willing to do so and you don't have to but if you can um, a little donation for my channel here would be greatly appreciated you know if you don't want the donations to partly go to PayPal you can also go to my mystic shadow insights.com website and you could put it uh, go to the bottom of the first page and there's a donation button uh, down on the lower part of that page likewise um, anything could be of a great great help I'm gonna need all the help I can get in getting through this and if you can't I love you and I understand everybody's having such a hard time these days but um, you take care of yourself and uh, brightest blessings bye bye